you still don't believe it. Because it is true. You cannot sell truth in today's society. What you sell is a lie. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola sells more than any product that is American all over the world. Yet Coca-Cola would eat your liver. It would eat up your intestines and your esophagus. But it sells. Protein. Protein sells. Everybody have brags in his house. Why? Because I need my protein. My liquid protein. Another lie. Because when you ask the question, if protein is a necessary food, is it alive? Because food that nourishes these cells has to be alive and electrical. Protein has no electricity. When I take enzymes, when I take vitamins, always looking for a way to defend that which we think is true. How would we be able to identify truth? When the very environment that God placed us in, we do not live there any longer. We live in another environment. The food that God placed for us in that environment, that food we are not eating. Now could any one of us begin to fathom the extent of the damage done by not ingesting those food and ingesting the food of another. Could any one of us could really fathom the extent of the damage done? Well, I'm going to begin to show us how we could begin to measure this damage. This is why this message that is about to be delivered this evening will be difficult. It will be difficult because when the African was making babies 500 years prior to slavery, the African didn't have chillies in his diet. Neither did he have potatoes, sweet or Irish. He didn't have lamb. He didn't have chicken. He didn't have cheese. He didn't have no butter with biscuits. He didn't have any cake. Didn't have eggs. He didn't have any of the components that causes disease. This was not in his diet. So the quality of the babies that was born from that sperm that baby was as healthy as God wanted to be. So you and I are the result of a sperm that had cheese, butter, eggs, alcohol, and cigarettes. Not talk about the drugs. Then they made love to our mother. And we are the product of that love. And then we have the nerve to tell each other that we don't have time for each other. That because she takes drugs that she is not like me well I'm not about a prostitute nor a drug addict I am both we have been violated so that child is not on drugs and you think it is her fault the environment sperm that that is the result of the environment in which we live because when we live in the environment that God gave us there was no such thing as drugs so why is she a drug addict and a prostitute is it God? No, it is the environment. Now, we are looking for healing. We want healing. We need healing. When the psychiatrists are looking as to the reason why they are shooting them up in the school, they are overlooking the food that they are eating. And how do I know? The crazy woman that was brought from Mexico, well, all of us know that insanity should be treated to the nervous system. I gave her everything for the central nerve system that worked for other people. With her, it didn't work. My wife said from the kitchen, go to her guts. And when I went to her intestines, two days later, she was no longer insane. Telling us that yes, it is the food that we eat that makes us sick. But how many of us are qualified now to select from this planet, the food that God made for us. None of us. We know about anthropology, history, Egyptology, paleontology, archaeology, all the ologies but life itself. Well, I didn't pay heed to none of the ologies. My eyes were focused on health. 
on well-being not because I wanted to but I could clearly see that what was being pursued in the 60s all these historians with all these books and now we find ourselves 39 years later 1999 sick as sick as could be we are so sick that we don't even trust ourselves so now the message is here and all of us agree that everything is in divine order am I right of course we are right in 1555 or in 1560 when our fathers were slaves here in America did they know that chitlins was gonna play Harvard on themselves no they didn't know they ate it because that's all they had and we ate that food all the way from slavery until now we eat chicken we eat chitlins we eat hot moths we eat cheese we eat butter and these things are ungodly God did not make a cow man did that that's a hybrid animal but now the message is here how come the message is here that we should not eat those things and we know this to be a fact because as we remove as we remove ourselves and we remove people from that diet their pains their joints their knees and everything begin to subside all the pains and one day they are all gone why because we have returned to the food of God and what is it that we are doing that is so fantastic that it is so over and above that what is being offered we are only cleansing the system and giving you the herb that God made see many of the menus that you see on herbs you find that they would say peppermint cayenne pepper everyone has golden seal and all these herbs were not made by God the trick is to use only the herb that God made because in the Bible that we read it says that the herbs are for the healing of the nations so when it is said that in the Bible then it says that something is wrong because the herbs of today are not healing anything so what is the wrong is that they are not selecting from the repertoire that God made they are selecting from what man made peppermint was made comfrey aloe vera garlic garlic was made yet you and I have been told for many 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 years that the best thing for pressure is garlic so ladies and gentlemen I want to say this this journey is not a difficult one it may be tedious but to begin to heal the human body as what we are doing at the Usha Research Institute what we do is this we cleanse the system every disease we said to the Supreme Court comes from one source when the mucous membrane has been compromised it stands to reason Dr. Savi just began this journey 27 years ago and protein and vitamin enzymes and the rest was on the market long before we came right well if protein and vitamins were good then why is it that we continue to be weak and sick if aloe vera and comfrey and the rest of the offer such as the peppermint and the cayenne pepper were good then why is it that disease is still progressing now aren't we weren't we told that sickle cell anemia is incurable of course we they said that and then they go further to say that God gave us sickle cell anemia and we even believe that we believe everyone but ourselves we believe every race in the world mr. Charles Gray was telling me today when we were coming here that he could see the reason why we have this fear in believing each other's because it is easy for a white man to be a drunk on the street and overnight he said that he's seen God and we follow him it is true so something was done to us for afford us to do that your brother stands before you today and you say Dr. Sebi cure AIDS 
You don't say the black race curates. You just single me out. I'm you no longer. But when the Chinese explode their bomb, they didn't say one man, they say the people, right? The Chinese people. And when they talk about the Russian going to the moon, they say the Russian people. And when the Japanese were doing research with AIDS, they say the Japanese people are doing research. But when your brother, Dr. Sebi, cure AIDS, you say he cure AIDS, not that we cure AIDS. That is how sick we are. It's not that we want to be sick, and it's not that you want to refuse me. We have been made to do that. You cannot help that. I'm going to show you some instances. In 1989, there was a big crave, 1990. All of the leaders in the United States supported a substance they called Kimron. Am I right? And they said that Kimron was the panacea to AIDS. Didn't cure anyone. Didn't cure anyone, but they supported it, right? And, a, and, and that Kimron was made right here in the United States. Kimron is a compound made from interferon and AZT, made right here. No Kenya, no Africa. But it was supported by the professional protesters and the leaders. Dr. Sebi and the Usha Research Institute showed documentation, showed diagnostic procedures from laboratories that yes, he cure AIDS. Did they support it? No. They asked me, have you seen Minister Firecon? I said, I heard of the minister. Well, why don't you go and see him? I said, I can't do that. He said, why? I said, you see, you, you're not seeing my position. My position is not one that reigns where, where that fan is at. My position is way down there. My son told me one day, sir, that I'm in the wrong profession. He said, Daddy, you have to fight to keep the rent paid, yet you are making, you are curing people of sickle cell anemia and broken bones. And you have to fight to feed us, yet you messed up, Dad, because Mike Tyson, he broke their jaws and he got millions and they have to come to you to heal their jaws and you get pennies. <laughs> so that is the society in which we live. You pay someone millions to break somebody's jawbone. And the one that repaired the jawbone gets pennies. That is the time in which we live. So this thing about Kimron had to be that way. It was made in America. So they supported Kimron. They cannot support me. So when I said about Mr. Farrakhan, I said he's way up there. And I'm way down there. How could you expect for a man with the image of Mr. Firecon way up there to come to a brother like me who is way down there. You have never seen that, sir. But I, am, I give thanks to God that my position remains way down there. So I have no place to drop, fall from. I'm already way down there. Thank you.